guys, I'm Irina. Welcome back to my channel. We're still in Fayum and this is the fourth episode in which I will show you Camp Magic Land. This is the name of this place. It's a paradise for kids. A lot of activities. Uh, I will show you something special except the desert. So it's the place where all kids were waiting to come to visit. Let's see the reason why. First, they entertained us with a dance of a horse. During the show with the horse, boys of course were busy playing football, volleyball, running around. They really enjoyed and had fun. Nobody lives around this area, so kids were free to scream, shout, run here and there play with the ball and throw it anywhere without the fear to annoy anyone or break a window. These girls started to make a sand castle. Many sand castles actually, but the problem that in the desert we don't have enough water. Hmm, it was a bit difficult to make a sand castle just with the dry, dry sand. But that didn't stop them. Look, they are happy and enjoy. They have the fun of their life. This activity attracted all the kids we had. Our guide took a long rope with the bottle tied to it and now he is turning around and they have to jump. And they said that the one who will win will get a special prize. All kids ran there because everybody wanted to know what will be the prize. Everybody wanted to win the prize. While jumping, kids kept falling down, but thank God the sand was really soft, so everybody kept laughing and no one was injured. Everyone had fun. Adults enjoyed sitting in the shadows and watching their happy kids. So it was a very relaxing time for the parents. Many kids already left the game, so now we have really few. For kids who lost, uh, special people were distributing caps, handmade caps with the name of the company, I think the name of the travel company that we used. So no one got upset. If you lose, you get a cap. Very nice idea. The last five kids were announced as winners, but they didn't get any specific uh, prize because they were running to the next activity. Now we have a set jumping race for adults and kids. Oh, they had fun. And of course, we had to pull the rope. Uh, we had different teams. First they tried ladies against men, then they tried girls against boys, then they tried kids uh, against adults. There were different kinds of competitions for different ages, for different stages, for different whatever. Everybody was laughing and it was really, really funny for everybody. By the way, most of these people don't know each other. We just came uh, to this place by two buses, but we are not friends, we don't know each other. But we became so united, we became teams, friends, without knowing each other's names, we were supporting each other, trying to win. Desert, it's a perfect place for color fight. Nothing to make dirty, just sand. Kids really enjoy, enjoyed throwing colors at each other. They became so, so colorfully dirty after that. 
but extremely happy. Just look at these colorful, dirty, happy faces! Now it's time to go around and see what we have actually around this camp. Well, we found some plants and when we just look left and right, we see desert, desert and desert. But I didn't know that there was a big surprise waiting for us. Follow me. So we decided to move around and all what I see now is just sand. As you see, you can pay attention to my hat and my clothes, it's so, so windy here. The wind is extremely strong. And if you look at the sand, you will find that it has like waves. Like waves, like waves because of the wind. It's the first time in my life I see sand and like waves on the sand. Wow, it's so exciting to see something for the first time in your life, not just on TV or through the videos. Look at this magnificent hill. It looks huge. When I came closer to the hill and looked around, suddenly I saw a lake. Suddenly, from nowhere, in the middle of the desert, another lake. It looked so beautiful. Just enjoy the view. Silence. You only hear the wind. All the people who came now, these are the people from my bus, but without them, the place is absolutely deserted and quiet. So beautiful. And here we have a next fun place for us, which is sand surfing. We take the surfboards and we go surfing on the sand. The same what you do usually on the snow, uh, what I used to do in my country, but now we do it on the sand. And some kids can even, they manage to go down right into the lake and fall down into the lake. They really enjoy that. It's very hot. You slide, slide, and then boom, you are in the refreshing cold water. Wow, I wish I could do the same. Some kids were really well prepared. They had their swimming suits ready, so they enjoyed the sand and jumped into the water. Many of the kids were swimming, especially boys. I really, really enjoyed the breathtaking view. This yellow, light yellow sand with this amazing color of the water of the lake. Mm, my heart belongs to this place. Each person was doing whatever made him happy. I was standing and enjoying the view. Some people were sand sliding or sand surfing. Some people were riding horses. Some kids were just running around. Really, each one found anything that could make him happy. Freedom! The people who were helping us rubbed the boards with wax so that the boards would go down on the sand smoother and easier. Some boards went down really easily, but some kept stucking. I don't know what was the problem with them actually. People, some people got really upset that they couldn't slide easily. But I don't know, is it the matter of weight or the matter of board or maybe not enough wax? I have no idea. Happy mothers are watching their kids playing and sliding. What does mother need to be happy? See her child happy. That's it. Only being in the desert, I realized that each place has different kind of sand. Like here, in this specific place, the sand is so, so soft and just the wind moves it easily. The pieces, the particles are so tiny. Mm, I didn't know that sand can be so different from place to another. In the previous place, what I showed you, my previous video, in, uh, in the lakes, the sand was really big. The grains were big and heavy and they were not soft at all. But here, it's so light and soft. Look how the wind moves it, with no difficulty at all. 
Walking on the sand is actually hard work. I didn't know that. I think it's somehow similar to walking in water, but in the water you don't go up the hill. Hmm, it's a good exercise. I found some bushes and trees growing around the camp. I was interested how they actually grow. And then I found these pipes. This is irrigation system. So all these pipes for each single tree brings water. This is how these trees can grow here. Hmm. We're done here and now it's time to go to our next destination. Join me and wait for my next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.